Good morning, I'm just heading down to meet Scott Williams and Ali Davis, both professional international rugby players. I'm doing a session with them because I've been helping them out for pre-season for the past couple of weeks. So we're doing uh, a lot of turnabouts on the pitch and it's going to be high intensity. It's going to be fast, that's the same as high intensity surely, but it's something I'm going to keep on doing as this marathon training starts. Because, I don't know, I'm not one of those runners who thinks I can only do this. I want to just do a bit of everything, running. There's so much on offer, I just like, have a taste of it all. right? I'm going to join those guys for session and then I'm going to finish off with maybe like a 5 or a 6k run on my own. See you in a bit. Today we did lots of turning around, it was like 85 meters and 80 meters uh, sets, like doing eight of them with 15 seconds recovery, stuff like that. So it was high speed, it was intense, really built up the lactic and then we finished with uh, just over a kilometer of diagonals around the field. So a bit different to most marathon runners, but that, that's something I like doing. I like doing all types of training. I'm not, I'm not like one of these people who just think, right, I'm gonna run a marathon. I only have to train like a marathon runner. I just want to do bits of everything. And that, I feel, you know, who knows on race day, I might think of what it's like to have those two guys chasing me down on a final rep. So I really enjoyed that. I'm just heading out now for, I don't really know how long I'm running for. I'm just, I'm just jogging because I like jogging. So that's the start of my marathon training. That's day one. Pretty exciting, isn't it? We're on day two of marathon training. I've just started my morning with a session again with Alid and Scott. We did downs and ups. So you're on your feet, you're on the floor, you run, you down again, up and down. So like a lot of strength work was involved in that. We did a 900 meter time trial. We did like, a, we did a kilometre at the finish. So in total, I think it was about four kilometres there. Um, you know, a real physical session. And I'm telling you, right, if anybody is like an armchair fan and you're watching rugby and you're thinking those guys are not training hard enough or they're not, you're not, you know, oh, I could do that. Do a session with those boys because the turns, the speed that they turn, the speed they get up and down off the floor is, it was mind blowing. I was, it was like some weird kind of like, I felt like I was in a nightmare. You know, when you just get an attack and you can't do anything about it. It was so fast at doing these things. It was freaking me out. So I'm just going for a nice little run now. I'm just, I've got an app on my phone where I just take pictures of mushrooms and they just tell me which they are. And I've just seen some nice mushrooms. So I've taken pictures of those, but I'm going to keep on running. I'm probably going to do 8K again. I think my target for this week is to run around about 70k. I'm, I've been like my mileage is is lower this year than it was the year before. I just I'm struggling to find some kind of form. So my, like in terms of setting myself a goal, it's got to be just just to run over 70k this week and gradually build that as I get towards London. Just just kick the branch for no reason. Don't know why. I'm not. I don't feel aggressive or anything. I just kick the branch. I'm going to come up here tomorrow as well. This is by the way. This is where I start all the running reviews. Um, I like you. I often stop you, even if I'm on a run, I just stop you and have a walk and just, just take it all in. I'll be doing a running review tomorrow. Ah, oh, right. So that is my second day. I'll do some more videos. This is, this is all new to me, this constant uh, filming, constant documenting of my life. I'll do some more filming later anyway. Right. I think the strangest thing that ever happened to me as an athlete was after this race in Milan and the race organiser had forgotten to book me a hotel for the night after the race. So they took me to the airport and I had to wait all night until my fight in the morning. So I was hanging around the airport, just, you know, walking around, eating a lot of baguettes and pizza. And then I met this girl, a strange girl with dreadlocks and no shoes on her feet. She said, come with me, there's a hammock hanging up in the chapel in the airport. So we went to the chapel, both lay in this hammock and both went to sleep. It's quite strange to sleep in a hammock with someone, but I woke up in the morning and she'd gone. I was all alone in this hammock and I keep thinking, 15 years later, whose hammock was that? About a month ago, 
I saw an absolutely enormous mushroom up here so I'm going to run until I see it again so I can take a photo of it if I know what it is I bet not many people have got that in their marathon training plan taking pictures of mushrooms I might eat it there it is uh, how did I get to it? oh it's a gate let's jump over this gate and look at this mushroom uh, uh, oh it opened I was, <laughs> I was getting ready to climb it alright where are you? You massive fucker. Ah, ah, it's no good for my legs. All right, let's have a look at this guy. Look at that! I'm sure there's another one somewhere. Let's have a look. All right, let's find out where he is. The mad thing about this mushroom is that all this ground around here, it's probably part of his network. That's probably like the main control panel. So it's probably in charge of all the soil I'm standing on right now. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? Giant Puffball! Well, nice to meet you Mr Giant Puffball! Some interesting facts here about the Giant Puffball. I can actually smell it as well. Smell, it smells like a mushroom. Um, you can eat them when they're young, but that's well past the sell by date, so I don't fancy eating that. But inside there, there's several trillion spores. That's mind blowing. That's absolutely mind blowing. I feel intimidated by that mushroom. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here, but from now on, I know you are like five kilometers from my house, so I'll think about you when I'm in bed. And I will also know that, oh my God, there's more over there. I'm getting out of here. There's so many mushrooms. I'm getting out of here. Hello, it's Wednesday and no no running footage today because I put all my effort into a running review. So if you want to watch that, that's on YouTube. If you don't know what a running review is, well, I guess you should do. If you're watching this, then the chances are you know what a running review is. But it's when I run and listen to an album and I talk about it. I did that today. I ran to the new Go Team album. Fantastic. It was um, like I struggled to hear the vocals on the first listen but what the music did was it kind of uh it mapped out my psyche this is where it felt like and there were moments that reminded me of my childhood and the moments which reminded me of being an adult and it kind of just mapped out everything in between I kept thinking about all these great people I'd met all these great friends I've got and great friends I had and kind of I was running hard and I was just thinking about how lucky it is like just to form these connections with people in your life and uh for me that was a massive takeaway with the album that um it definitely deals with how uh like how how life goes quickly and how we can feel like the modern world is speeding up ev even quicker because of new inventions and stuff like that so people my age and and older and younger probably can feel like we're losing grip of the modern world and it just talks about how well for me it was kind of saying how the connections you form the friendships you form and stuff uh can click that can be your your grip on the modern world i don't know that's what i was thinking but it was a great run it was 30 minutes which is, which is quite short i like doing the running reviews to albums which are between 40 and 30 minutes and i think i did like six and a half kilometers but it's strange doing the running reviews is is odd because i kind of i get in the zone when i do it and you know, obviously I press play and I just go for it. And I, I find like they are kind of the best sessions for me is I know I have to run well when I do it. So it, it, that's different to me, like thinking about running well and running fast are two different things, you know, it's like, I just know I have to be sharp. I know I have to be alert. I know I have to react to everything that's going around me because, you know, people want, want me to talk about the music and I want to make sure I don't fall because it's quite treacherous where I'm running and going around the reservoir. So I don't run into people. So I really feel that it makes me run well. It makes me run with a lot of focus. And and I 
I do honestly feel similar things to like I would feel on race day. And there was a phase where all I was doing was running reviews. I, I wasn't really doing any sessions. And then I went out and I ran quite comfortably, like a 16 minute, five kilometer. So I'm honestly not worried about those just being the only hard thing I do. It's not a problem. I I, I love it. Uh, so yeah, that was about, I think in total, I ran about 10 kilometers today because I, I run up to the reservoir where I do it. I have a little stretch, I look around like you do, and then I go run in. So that was what I did today. Tomorrow, um, I'm training with Scott and Alid again in the morning. Then I'm going to do a few more miles. It looks like I'm on course for a 70 kilometer week, which is quite exciting for me. That's like my only goal at the moment is just to get consistent mileage in. Anyway, this is my this is my running punk's office. I don't know why I'm staying at the computer. It looks like I'm staying at Strava, trying to work out if Strava approves, but I'm not. I'm just watching videos of people dancing on YouTube. Uh, let's give you a little tour. This is a book I'm reading. I read a lot of books at the same time on Kindle as well. I take the Kindle at the bed so I can read in the dark. And these are like, when it's daylight, I read a book, a real book, because the pages don't go. This is really good. William Blake versus the world. Very interesting. I think we might have the next album title from that book. This is good because I'm learning to love routine and, uh, what's it, like hedonism. Yes, I'm learning to find the joys in the routine. I like a routine. I'm a man of routine now that I no longer drink. There's little things like I, I love the ritual of making a coffee in the morning. Spinoza ethics. Trying really hard to get my head around that. I'm very fascinated with the idea of free will. I kind of don't believe we have any, but that's not a problem. It's not going to stop me running. Poems by Elizabeth Bishop. Genius. Absolutely amazing. And then this, this is an interesting one. Probably not. It's probably not interesting. It's interesting for me anyway. But I dip into this. This is called Witch by Rebecca Tamas. And I dip into this before running reviews because I kind of find that my brain is like a gearbox. And this book here grinds the gears and gets me into a good creative frame of mind and allows lots of words to come out, which are exciting for people. Stretch book. Never used it. Never used it. Honestly, I bought it second hand. And not even those other stickers in there, mine. I've never used that. This one's good though. Running expert guide to stretching. I'm a fan of that. There we are. That's my tour. Well done. Okay, tomorrow morning then. Nice and early with the rugby boys. I'm enjoying those workouts. They are tough. My legs and arms are a bit dead. And then get their miles up. Right. That's it. Haha. <laughs> good one. This is tough. We've just started off with a load of 300s of 90 seconds recovery. And now we're doing a thing called Malcolm's, I think. Malcolm's, is it? Um, they are so hard. I've done them once before. These boys are so rapid on them that I'm struggling to keep up after the first one. So pray for me.
Oh my word. Ah, honestly, that was the first time in ages. I felt like just giving up. I thought I was gonna give up. Honestly, after like two or three reps, my legs are gone. I'm not used to that. I'm not used to running like that. It's so tough. Have you seen how, look how fast those guys are? That's so hard. Right, we've got another set of turnarounds to go. But these are good. It's making me stronger and it's really, like I feel like I have to run for an hour to get this kind of fatigue. And, and that was like two or three minutes of running. Ah, right, let's get going. Yeah, it's Thursday, isn't it? Um, all right. I'm not sure which way I'm going to edit this. Maybe I've already done the training. So maybe I show the training and then I'll talk about it. But yeah, that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do. So there you are. You've just seen me do the training. Um, a little bit of it. Tough session again with the rugby boys. It feels weird to talk about marathon training and to have so much kind of rugby training in it. But I am loving it. Hurts, it hurts, my legs hurt. Um, things we were doing today, like those turnabouts, the ups and downs, so hard. You're like kind of running and you're you're all hunched up and then you straighten up and then, I don't know, who knows, like, am I doing this right? I don't know, I'm having fun though. I guess the main thing is, are you enjoying your running? Yes, I'm enjoying my running. Are you properly training for marathon? Probably not, but it doesn't matter. I'll get on the start line and I think, I've had a really nice year. Even though, when is the London Marathon? October. Yeah, by October, I get a start and I think, oh, I had a nice time. I've had a nice 10 months. Let's have a run as well. Let's just keep on adding to the good times. So that's the kind of training I'm doing. I'm training for good times. Finished the run and then I went for six and a half kilometers. Lots of stopping. Lots of just enjoying nature. It's kind of my thing. So that's another, I think, that was about 11 kilometers today. You probably watch other marathon runners who run things like 13 15 miles a day i do six miles a day um but i enjoy my running i'm probably the happiest run in the world i'm definitely the happiest run on the internet i might not look in now because this is my indoor face i've got two faces i got one which hangs by the door and i put it on when i go outside and run but this is my indoor face oh cool running review tomorrow i think i think i know which album i'm gonna do i messaged a friend and she recommended an album so i'll run to that and then you know just keep the updates going. I'm going away on the weekend. I'm not sure how I'm going to run. Also, I'm going to Board Masters in August. I'm going to Board Masters for a full week. Kind of, I'm working there with uh, as part of Running Punks and We Are Hummingbird um, because I'm doing, oh yeah, this is worth saying, I'm doing my qualification in mental health first aid in next week. So I'm working backstage at Board Masters and just, just generally being a nice person to talk to. Alcohol-free beer as well, still going strong. Eight, over 18 months. I'm never going to drink again. It's crazy. I just, I can't be bothered with it. I can't, I just, who wants that kind of chaos? It's due tomorrow. Look at that. Are happy with that? 
See you tomorrow. Yeah, we cool. Right, I'm off to the pub. Ah, something keeps biting me. Right, today we are running to the new Salt album. It's called Nine. It's about 34 minutes long. So it's going to be fast again. That's going to be two fast, shortish runs this week. I can't wait to do it. Let's get going. By the way, it's so hot today. So I'm going to try and keep as much of this run in the shade as possible, like a panther with headphones on. And the watch is on, the music's on, and we're off. Come on, I'll be honest with you. This has been a wild ride. And this last song is very close to making me cry. Must keep on running! Must keep on running! Oh fuck! <laughs> that talk about not having a childhood, being constantly on edge. I mean, I can't understand it. That's not the world I grew up with. So, hearing about it now, ah, so moving. But some people don't have a childhood. Some people do grow up living on edge because of how we perceive them. We've got them all wrong. There was that switch and groove and then that astonishing piece about how even as a kid going to school, the place you're meant to learn, the place where you're supposed to advance, you're still in fear there. We are done. Absolutely incredible. And the way it finishes with don't ever lose yourself, you can always start again. Here's my take from that. That album is not about my childhood. It doesn't, you know, it's about a world I'm unfamiliar with. But in learning about other people's lives, I'd also learn a little bit myself. So you can always start again, even if your life is perfect. In a way, you can start again by learning more about other people, people you don't know, people that you maybe are afraid to go talk to on the street. Do those conversations, bridge those gaps, because in a way, you will start again. You will know more about yourself. You will never lose yourself by truly surrounding yourself in people who are different to you and getting to know them. That will build your character. Phenomenal run. How much can you get out of an album of 34 minutes? Thank you very much uh, to Gwen for recommending that. I love running to that. Have a great day. I'm a running punk. You should be a running punk too. And remember, it's about more than just turning up. Hello. Fancy seeing you here. No running for me today. I'm just in the field with a pink book writing some lyrics for some new songs. I can't stop thinking about that Salt album from yesterday. I really can't stop thinking about it. Musically, in 34 minutes, it did a lot. It did a lot of damage. It made me run fast. It got me really excited. But the message, that's what matters the most for me about that album. The message is incredible. And what I like about it is come to think about it it's quite a simple message and my my tendency is always to think i need to say a lot i need to say a lot but let's just strip it down let's focus on what's important put that in there tomorrow i need to run 15 kilometers to hit my 70k for the week i can do it it'd be good i'm not sure when i'm gonna run though i'm enjoying the relaxing that, that's what happens to me do you know what I mean i get really intense with my running and then i just want to do nothing more than just switch off and live a slow life one last song though i'll be screaming and running like a maniac before you know it anyway i catch you tomorrow. Where are you going? Where are you going? Was that right? I feel a bit like um, like a BBC Wales journalist doing a, an article on farming. Is this a cool backdrop? Just green screen, yeah? So just green screen there, and then you, I just want you to project like a field on it so it looks like I'm outdoors. I'm actually in a cellar. All right, should you take the phone off the, the gate? Sunday, if you're a runner, that's traditionally the long run day, although for me, it kind of makes more sense to run really far on a Tuesday, I don't know why, Tuesday just feels like the day to run far, but my target this week has been always to expand my mind by listening to amazing music, uh, but it's also to run 70 kilometers this week and keep like a bit of, like that's my benchmark, build on that, so I need to do 15k in this heat, it's not too bad right now, I mean, this is uphill all the way, but there's a lot of shade, so... I'll probably do like 8k up, 8k down, get it done. I'm into my rhythm a bit now, I think I'm about three and a, three and a half kilometers in. Just be listening to our next single on loop. I don't know, I'm, a, ha, I'm nervous about it coming out, I think, because all my fish are dead went down well. And in the last month, it's in the top 20 most played songs on KEXP, which is incre in crazy, which is incredible absolutely wild um i'm kind of nervous about this one coming out it's a bit more like a roller sound i guess it's a song which has evolved over a long time i started writing it when i was working in the window factory and north norfolk plastics that's the name of the song north norfolk plastics it was a window company we used to make windows for and <laughs> the songs are nothing to do with them it's about just trying to stay genuine and trying to stay yourself in a modern world and how if you can find the balance between listening to your body and your mind you can stick around for a lot longer I don't know it's a little subtle message about the battle I had with alcohol I think 
it was like constantly about in mind and body and I got to the point where I started listening to my body because my body felt good from the running and that's when I decided not to drink anymore and I feel I feel younger because of it so that little line at the end of the song I haven't even heard the song yet what am I talking about anyway it's a bit at the end of the song which is me giving myself a little thumbs up for going nice one for sorting your shit out I guess I should probably talk about uh, running as well so I'll give you an idea I run slow a lot a lot of days a week I run slow I push myself on the running reviews but they are more like a tempo pace now and again like if something in a song happens I'll end up running 3 10 3 minutes per kilometer for I don't know usually like the length of the clip and then I'll catch my breath uh, but today I'm feeling good so I'm currently running 4 10 per kilometer pace it's uphill uh, this is fast for me on a Sunday run I'll be honest with you I usually run about five or six minutes per kilometer slow running for me and I, I see a lot of people say they struggle with doing it they struggle with the battle of the ego to slow it down but I love it I didn't really have that battle because I think when I started running again in 2019 I knew that I want to keep on running now until I'm an old man so I want to do it right I want to look after my body I'm not really interested in smashing PBs really quickly I just want to keep on going so that's why I find slow running quite easy see now though oh yeah it's like a 430 kilometer going up this hill but i don't know i'm in the mood for it. a nice day off yesterday my legs are feeling good it's hot but when it's hot i find my body kind of balances itself as soon as i start sweating so i got a good sweat on now i'm just cruising i'm just cruising eating up the miles but thinking a bit as well about what sessions i can do next week it'd be good like if i am documenting it chuck a few sessions in there it's not gonna be fun for you all if i'm just constantly slow jogging or running to music or training rugby players that's my big mushroom friend over there someone just cycled past me and said running looks hard and i'm trying to catch him to overtake him so i can say cycling looks hard he's gone he's too far away i'm into a lovely rhythm now i've just done uh, just over 14 kilometers coming back downhill holding kind of around 410 per kilometer pace which like I said earlier is fast for me on a Sunday run but I'm feeling really good this is one of those runs where I guess I thought it was gonna be a bad run because it was so hot but I set off I paced myself I stuck to the shade and I'm really enjoying it now I oh, yeah morning afternoon I don't know what time it is I've got a few points which I've been thinking about meditating upon for this week the first week of marathon training and let's face it this is no real difference to the train I do anyway but now I've got a goal in mind and that with the salt album the message there where you know like i said yesterday where sometimes i try and overcomplicate things when i'm writing and that salt album's had such a simple and powerful message i'm thinking now am i running now just keep it simple i mean it's just about the distance for now so i've hit my target i've done that and i don't know let's just keep it simple let's not overcomplicate it let's just keep it pure and just remind myself daily of all the good that running has done for me and you know just make it enjoyable to get out and run every morning okay week one done i'll leave you with that thought keep it simple but whatever you're doing mean it really mean it put everything into that pure simple message i'm sure you'll get good results out of it just swallowed a fly as soon as i said that Yesterday, while I was camping, I noticed a dragonfly dipping its wings in the water of the pond on the edge of the campsite. It seemed like a very brave thing for a small insect to do, and I really admired its determination to stay cool on such a hot day. I sat and watched the dragonfly doing this for over half an hour. The sky darkened and soon the dragonfly was dipping its wings in the moon's reflection. A friend I'd made while camping came and sat next to me. What are you looking at, he said. This dragonfly, I answered. He's been diving in and out of that pond for half an hour just to cool his wings. I'm blown away by his bravery. How does he know he's not going to go in so deep that he'll never come out again? Each splash could be his last, but here he is, dipping and flying like it's no problem. Seeing things like this really puts it into perspective how unadventurous we can be with our own lives. It's truly astonishing. My new friend nodded and handed me a slice of pizza, which I noticed he'd been cooking all afternoon in the campsite pizza oven. You do realise that's a fake dragonfly for fly fishing, don't you? It's just caught in the stingy nettles on the edge of the pond there. You silly bastard.